He's going to launch it over the middle. It's a contested grab, and I think it's an interception by the Colts. It's Kenny Moore. Kenny takes it away. Bryce Young throws it left side, and it's picked off by the Colts. They're running the other way with it. It's Kenny Moore again. He's at the 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown! A pick six by Kenny Moore. Our next guest is coming off one of his best seasons in the NFL. He's also one of the most beloved players in the league, and specifically in Indianapolis. Let's give a warm welcome to our friend, Colts cornerback, Kenny Moore. Kenny what up, oh! Kenny? What up, what up, what up? Good morning. <laughs> so good having you back on the show, man. And you're coming off a career year in Indy, which earned you yet another three-year contract to stay with the team you belong, the Indianapolis Colts. All these guys in free agency, testing the waters, jumping the new heart. You decided to stay home and go with Indy. How are you feeling coming off what it was, a bounce back season and the ability to now keep it going with the Colts? It was a thrill through free agency, 50-50. Uh, you don't know, you know what's going to happen. You don't know what's in store. Um, it was great. It was great, you know, a couple days of waiting, uh, but we got it to all work out in Indianapolis, who I love to play for. Um, I feel like I'm trailblazing for the position. Uh, at, a, at a slot position. So uh, we need some other guys to get the highest so we can get the, the market up. So um, that's just what I'm testing all the other nickels around the league to, you know, have their best season to be better than me so we can, you know, be up there with the, with the receivers. <laughs> mm. No doubt about it, man. Keep it going. And you're right. You're a slot corner. You've kind of put that position. You, Teron Johnson, guys like that out there absolutely balling. It's good to see you again. I saw you in Germany where you got a chance to beat the team that brought you into the league in the New England Patriots. And the Colts are making some moves. You guys just signed Raquan Davis. But a lot of what you guys have done this offseason is keeping the core of your defensive guys, Zaire Franklin, Taekwon Lewis, and yourself, guys that are all still there. How important was it for you for this team to keep that group together it's great to see the gm chris ballard you know sticking by his word you know my rookie year coming into indianapolis from the new england patriots i remember you know chris ballard saying you know first week first day he was saying you know i want to renew our own guys i want to create you know i want to get the guys in here develop and then we're gonna renew from there so you know he's just sticking by his word he has a lot of talks with the teams you know either you know, coming into the season or at some meetings, you know, uh, he want to keep his guys. And, you know, I just want to be one of the pillars of the of the organization in the locker room. I want to be the epitome uh, to be the Indianapolis Colt in the locker room. So uh, the more guys we get, the, the better we'll be um, to come. You're growing. The team is moving. Um, your GM committed to a young quarterback last year, started Anthony Richardson in his rookie season, was cut short, unfortunately. But what we saw of him at times showed absolute promise. The Colts should be thrilled. What did you learn about him last season, Anthony Richardson, and just watching him work and operate and be a professional? Well, I think the toughest thing about, you know, being an athlete is not being out there, uh, not being able to shine. And whenever he wasn't out there, whenever he wasn't shining, um, he was still a light to the locker room. He was still coming in the locker room. He was coming to work early each day. He was being sharp on what he wanted to give to the offense, on what he wanted to, you know, the image he wanted to, be, to bring to the team. So uh, to have that type of leader in the locker room, especially when it's not all about you, um, and that time being, uh, it's going to work out for great measure um, come down the road. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does this season, and I'm looking forward to working with him more this spring. You're a proud alumni of one of the great football traditions, Valdosta State University <laughs> down in Georgia. I remember I grew up in the late 90s, early 2000s, when Valdosta State was just winning championship after championship. And in January, you were inducted into their Athletic Hall of Fame. What was that day like being recognized by your former school and seeing your name put up there in the rafters forever? Man, it's one thing of going to that school of Valdosta State. It's another thing of being from Valdosta, Georgia. Uh, you know, getting that type of, uh, you know, flowers. Um, you're just thinking about all the days whenever you were there at Valdosta State, uh, growing up, seeing Valdosta State and the Blazers throughout the city. Um, a lot, a lot of work went into it, and just to you know share this moment with my family, it it meant the most to me because you know there was a lot of dark days. It was, it was a lot of days where you know I was there alone. I had to work. I had to believe in the dream uh, by myself whenever no one else was around. So uh, to go back 
to have that type of, uh, you know, atmosphere. Um, it was very intentional uh, with my mother and my sisters and uh, everybody who watched me, you know, grow and shine throughout college. I absolutely love that. I remember meeting you your rookie year out on the field. I was in Cleveland. You were in Indy and talking about your time in New England to see where you are in your career now. Just fantastic. I remember when you signed that deal and you talked about your mom not having to work again. You've done so many cool things. And I know you do so much off the field as well for the community, but you also have a strong passion in photography. You even got a chance to take photos at a Pacers game recently. How did you get into this? And what do you love about this passion? Is this something that you possibly could pursue after football? Uh, possibly a uh, great question. I think uh, with photography, um, something that that really stuck with me, you know, growing up as a kid was the pictures that I take, it'll be the, when you, whenever you look back at the pictures that you've taken throughout the years and, you know, over your life, you begin to feel the emotion, feel, uh, you know, how you felt during that specific time. And so, um, from there, it grew into a passion, you know, wanted to study it in college and everything. And I wanted to work for Getty Images and, you know, being in Indianapolis, they have a great team with the Pacers and we just formed a relationship with uh, the Pacers. And, you know, uh, I had a lot, I got, I got a lot of great connections with the Pacers now who saw an interest, you know, of my photography, not even just, you know, my my work, you know, for the Colts. They were just like, we just love your pictures and everything. And so from that, it grew into relationship, but, you know, we wanted to do stuff on game day and we made it happen. And it was a great time, you know, watching and taking pictures and documenting the, the Pacers versus uh, the Trailblazers. Kenny, it's cool to see your appreciation for it. And, and in sports, especially, which can be a visual medium in a very fast paced way. Still, photography is still so important to capture those moments. So we appreciate you so much for sharing the insight into that, why you love it so much. And also congratulations uh, best in health and your return to the Colts. They know they're happy to have you.